hello, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna make this super quick. We're gonna talk about detox and dental talk night. We're gonna talk about, I'm coming early because I have to be up at the crack of dawn to be at the airport and I have to straighten my hair tonight and put my baby down. So if you hop on and catch this live, drop a one. Catch the replay, drop a two. And if you share it, let me know. So I've already exfoliated my face, kind of why you see some redness and stuff, because exfoliation like brings that up there. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Hey Brianna, let me know, say hi. I wanna make this quick, so I'll say hi while I'm putting on my mask. It's hard to believe it's already, that is not a mask, already Wednesday. I feel like I just was doing this, but that was Sunday. Tonight is Wednesday, right? Hey Kelly, hey Jennifer. So for those that don't know me, I am a dental hygienist by trade. I'm just a um, skin care enthusiast that learned to love makeup along the way. So y'all, this mask is probably one of my personal favorites. And I think it's because it's the first mask I could be loyal to and make a commitment to. So it's kind of like that first love, you know, where it just hits deep and you're like straight up loyal to it. That's me in this mask, like ride or die. I think it's cause it's, I'm an instant gratification person. And look, you can see it working. Ooh, get it. If I wasn't on live, I'd do my neck and chest too, but I exfoliated my neck. We'll do it when we get done. But I'm in my moo moo, and Brandon has a weird thing about moo moos. Hey Bailey, hey Lauren, Lauren. I'll finish our conversation when I get off. Hey Yvonne. All right, Elena, you are detoxing as well. So we're gonna. It's foamy like I know. It's like you toxic bia. No, just kidding. I can hear it. I never can hear it. That's how I know my skin needs it. Okay. So I wrote down 12 facts. So y'all know I'm a science nerd. So we're gonna talk about clenching. Look, I got on my lip. Clinching and grinding and bruxism, okay? What it is, who does it? And I'm here to tell you that almost every single person does, if not one, one or the other, okay? So, I am a huge clincher. If you are a clincher or grinder, drop it in the comments. Tell me clincher, grinder. Um, hey, Melissa. Hey, Lauren. If you don't know, say, I don't know. So, I'm a huge clincher. Most people are one or the other. I don't grind my teeth, but I do squeeze the piss out of them when I'm sleeping. So, um, I wear a night guard. If you clench or grind, you need a night guard. And I recommend one that looks like a retainer that's a little bit thicker than a retainer. I recommend one that fits your bottom teeth. It's a little more comfortable to wear so it doesn't block your palate. Oh, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a visitor, guys. What is that? You wanna come say hi? You wanna come say hi? You got the loudest toy in the world. Okay, come say hi. Hi. Okay, hold on, let me hold you. All right. Say hi, look. Say, do we brush our teeth? Yeah? You want one of mom's brushes? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Please. Please. Okay. All right, tell them bye-bye. Bye. All right, stand right here. You can play with that. Okay, so I just recommend a lower one that fits your teeth, not one that you can buy from the store that is soft. Bye, baby. I'll be in there in just a minute, okay? Okay, so basically teeth grinding is... Oh, thank you, baby. He brought me my brush. Oh, look, it says low network. Dang it. Ugh, Brandon, open this. Why is our internet boo-boo garbage? All right, so it says low network, which means it's recording, whatever, y'all can watch this live. So, teeth grinding or bruxism, basically it's a condition that there are many reasons why people start grinding their teeth. God almighty, this is so annoying to me when there's a low connection and you pay like $85 for internet. Regardless, there's many, many reasons why people start grinding their teeth. Oh my God, I'm back. God almighty, bless it. Sorry y'all, the freaking internet is so amazing here. 
Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna give you like 12 little facts about teeth grinding that may make you your jaw drop, okay? So now that we're back in live in action, hey Kelly, um, don't forget to tell me if you shared this. So you can be a bruxer and not know it. I have a ton of patients that don't realize they clench or grind their teeth, but we can tell from wear and tear. Um, there's two different types of bruxism, okay? The first one is when people actually like grind their teeth together. The second one is when they clench, okay? Anyways, so clenching is more common during the day. Um, people do this when they're like anxious, angry. If you're concentrating, like if you work on a computer, I guarantee you probably you're sitting there with your teeth touching. If you're not chewing your natural state, your teeth should not touch. If you are, your teeth are touching, you're not chewing, that's a form of clenching, okay? People don't realize that. Anyways, it overworks your jaw muscles when you grind your teeth or you clench really hard, all right? So, around eight, um, I think this is way higher. It says around eight to 10% of the population grind their teeth regularly, but I can almost guarantee it's way higher than that because a solid 90 to 95% of my patients clench or grind. It's just because of the way we deal with life in our sleep, okay? Um, most people that grind their teeth also, also go through a phase of jaw clenching at some times in their life, okay? Honestly, most commonly it's found in between the ages of 25 to 45. All right, a lot of children grind their teeth though. So often, like small children that watch TV to go to bed, you'll find that they grind their teeth more. This is for adults as well as children. Turn the TV off within an, at least an hour before you go to sleep and let your mind decompress. That light, the light in that eye, the LED or whatever lighting, it keeps your brain active, okay? So, um, teeth grinding is noisy. It sounds like people are chewing on rocks. Um, it kind of makes me cringe thinking about it because it sounds like nails on a chalkboard. Um, one in five children under the age of 11 grind their teeth. The, one of the main causes of clenching and grinding is stress. Okay. Um, My nose itches, y'all, because it's drying. So, y'all, teeth grinding and clenching can cause super serious damage. So, grinding wears your teeth down to, like, nubs, okay? And if you expose the second layer of your tooth, it can cause pain. It can cause issues. You have to get work done. Or it can, like, rock a tooth right out of your head. So, imagine a fence post, right? If you push down on a fence post and you barely wiggle it over time, it's going to get loose. It's either going to break or it's going to come out of the hole. Same thing for teeth, all right? Clenching can actually cause little divots in your back teeth. Um, so you can tell I don't grind because I have the mammalians. See how these are kind of rigid? That's what it's supposed to look like on top and bottom. If you're flat across your front teeth or even like your canines, your pointy teeth, you're probably got, you're grinding for sure. If you have wear facets on your back teeth, that's a sign of clenching, okay? And you you can split a whole tooth in half, a solid tooth with no cavity by clenching. You can ask Brandon, he's right here. It took him breaking a whole cusp off of his tooth to wear a night guard. Daddy's chasing you? Oh, are y'all playing? Oh, they're playing chase. Um, It can also cause TMJ, that's like, your jaw muscle goes this way and you can throw your jaw out of socket from, you can have popping jaw. Oh man, there's just so much that it can do, okay? Now, <laughs> stress, we talked about stress. Your job can make you clench and grind your teeth. Anxiety about work, um, Anyways, stress and anxiety together can cause it. I swear I never clenched until I started working 
at this job I work at now, not because it was stressful, but because we talked about clenching and grinding all day and I'm a firm believer in what energy you put out is what you get. So I feel like, cause I talk about it so much, I started doing it. I even argued with Dr. Hell about, um, but I started wearing a night guard y'all and I'm not kidding about 85% of tension headaches that came from the neck went away. Things I would blame on um, like barometric pressure, uh, migraines, things like that. Oh, I'm telling you a night guard is not only protecting your teeth, but it also relieves the tension in your jaw, which relieves the tension in your neck. All this is connected, causing headaches, okay? Um, stuff like school, students that are studying or students that are high achievers um, in college and in school could be teeth grinding. Another big, big thing of teeth that causes teeth grinding is um, sleep disorders. So one of the first signs that we look for with people with sleep apnea is wear on their teeth. If they have severe wear on their teeth, well then ask if they're snores. If they're snores, more than likely you have a form of sleep apnea. Those are two huge signs of sleep disorders, okay? Um, talking in your sleep, sleep apnea, snoring, all those can cause grinding. Um, okay. Uh, your lifestyle choices can cause grinding, like heavy smoking, high caffeine or alcohol intake, and the habitual use of recreational drugs, such as ecstasy or cocaine, can all prompt grinding teeth. Um, overuse of medications for health problems, such as depression, anxiety, uh, sleep disorders, they can trigger teeth grinding. And the last little fact is having a tooth extracted can trigger teeth grinding. So removing a tooth, particularly one of the back ones in the mouth, such as a wisdom tooth, can alter your bite or the way your teeth connect, okay? And that can be uncomfortable, so then you're naturally trying to jaw to get comfortable, jaw. You're naturally trying to grind to get comfortable, okay? So basically, there's not much you can really do about clenching and grinding besides trying to like meditate, things to alleviate stress, but ultimately just getting a night guard. I recommend getting one from a dentist so that they can form it to just your teeth so it's more comfortable. If you try to buy one over the counter, they tend to be bulkier. Um, that's just not what I recommend at all. Um, or make sure you get sleep studied studies done if you happen if it's a cause of a sleep form of sleep issues but anyway so that's what i really wanted to talk about because ultimately there's so many people that don't realize they're doing it but their teeth are showing signs and or their jaw things like that so that is my detox and dental talk you can drop me some hearts and let me know if you shared this i love when y'all share it because anybody with teeth or at once upon a time had teeth may need to hear this. So I love y'all. I hope you have a great Wednesday and I will see y'all later.